Hello and welcome to the 13th episode of Let's Learn for UPSR Mathematics where we'll be covering uh, the past year questions for 2017 in paper 2. All right, We've already covered uh, UPSR 2016 paper 1 and 2 as well as UPSR 2017 paper 1 in the previous episodes. If you want, you can go through them. All right, I've created a playlist for uh, each paper if, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, if you like what I'm doing here, could you please click on the subscribe button, all right? As well as the bell button so that you can receive notifications when I release new episodes, okay? Now, let's continue to UPSR Mathematics 2017 Paper 2, okay? So let's look at question 1. So over here it says... Match the fraction with the correct diagram, right? 9 over 2. What does it mean? It means that you have 9 out of 2, okay? So for every 2 out of 2, it's equals to 1. That means you need to have 4 whole, uh, basically, shapes and half of it all right so it's not this it's not two out of nine right this is one and three out of six okay but this one two four six eight nine of them are shaded out of each one of these boxes have two parts right so the answer should be this one okay so how do you convert 7 over 2 to a mixed number? Now, to do that, it's very easy. For every 2 that you minus off from it, you put a 1, alright? So 7 over 2 is equals to 2 over 2 plus 2 over 2 plus 2 over 2 plus a 1 over 2, right? Because when you add them up, you don't add up the bottom ones. You only add up the top. Right? So it's 2, 4, 6, and 7. Okay? So that means 2 over 2 is 1. This is the second one. This is the third one. So it's 3, 1 over 2. Okay? Now, another way to do it would be 2 times 3 is 6. Right? 7 minus 6 is 1. Okay, now only do this if you fully understand the, your fractions, alright? If not, you might make a mistake, okay? This is the safest way, alright? Especially for those of you who still don't really know your fractions, okay? Now, question 2. Diagram 2 shows the number cards. Write the smallest 5-digit number from all the number cards given. So what they mean is you can only use the card once, right? So smallest five digit number, we put them from smallest to biggest. Okay, so that would be one, two, four, five, and seven. Okay, they did not say whether do they want it to be even or odd. All right, they only want the smallest five digit number. So that would be the answer, 12,457. Okay? Now, the next part B, they want you to round off 37,245 to the nearest hundreds. Okay? So you have 37,245. So you have ones, tens, and hundreds. Okay? So you're rounding it to the nearest hundreds. That means you're looking to the number on its right. So if it's five or more, then your hundreds, you plus one, the rest becomes zero. But because four is smaller than five, so when you round it up, it becomes 37,200. Alright, you don't add a one to your two. Okay? Alright? Now let's look at question 3. Diagram 3 shows three number values on cards of different shapes. 
The cards are arranged as below. Solve it. Uh -huh. Okay. So it's 62.7 divided by, in bracket, 9.15 plus 5.85. So what do you do first? Remember, brackets first. All right? Brackets, then only multiplication and division, and then only subtraction and addition. All right? 2.7 divided by 9.15 plus 5.85 would be let's see, 0, 0.90.15. 0 Oops, sorry. 15. Is that correct? Right, let's try it again. 9.15 plus 5.85. Right, 5 plus 5, 0. Add 1 here. 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 plus 8 is 0. Remember to add 1 here. Alright. 1 plus 9 is 10. 10 plus 5 is 15. Yes, it's 15. So it's equals to 62.7 divided by 15. Right? So how do you do this? Now you have to solve this. So 62.7 divided by 15... There are two ways to do it. You can either do this. Okay. Let's try this method first. And then I'll show you another method. Alright. So 15. Okay. 15 times 2 is 30. Right. So that means 15 times 4 would be 60. And now we have 27 minus 15 again. It's 1. Remember your decimal point, okay? So it becomes 1, 2, 0. Okay? 120 divided by 15. Now, 60 is 15 times 4. So 15 times 8 would be 120. Okay? So the answer is 4.18. Write down your answer here, and you get your 2 marks. Alright? Now, the other way of doing it would be this, 62.7 over 15, all right? It's using your fractions. This is what you will start to use when you're in secondary, all right? So, I can divide these two by 3, all right? 6 divided by 3, 2. 2 divided by 3, 0. 27 divided by 3 would be? Nine, right? Five divided by three is of course five. Now, five divided by five is one. Twenty divided by five is four. Nine divided by five, one. And I have four here, right? And I, when I go to my hundredth, it would be forty divided by five, which is eight. So the answer is the same: four point one eight. Okay, so there's two ways for you to do it. Now for question four. A tank can be filled with 1,000 litres of petrol. How many tanks are needed to fill 0 0.35 million litres of petrol? So how much is 1 million? Six zeros. Okay. Uh, okay, never mind. Let's use this one first. So 0 0.35 times million is six zeros, okay? So what happens is you jump six times to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's your decimal point. Any empty spaces, you put a zero there. So it becomes 350,000 liters, all right? So, since a tank can be filled with 1,000 litres of petrol, so you have to take your 350,000 litres divided by 1,000. Alright? What happens is, when you have zeros at the back, this happens. But of course, it's, make sure that the zeros are before your decimal points, alright? So, 
350,000 divided by 1,000 and your answer will be 350. So how many tanks are needed? 350 tanks are needed. Alright, it's as simple as that. Let's look at part B. So table 4 shows the capacity of a petrol tank for two types of vehicles. Calculate the volume in litres, the full capacity of the petrol tanks for two cars and a bus. So volume in litres, the full capacity of the petrol tanks for two cars and one bus. Now, the easy way would be two cars, right? 45 and 45 and a bus 150 you add them up right another way would be two whoops two cars right so it's 45 times two okay and then your answer you bring it up here plus a bus 150 all right you can get your answer so both ways will work. Here, let me show you how. 5 plus 5 plus 0 is 10. Put a 1 on top. 1 plus 4 is 5. 5 plus 4 is 9. 9 plus 5 is 14. Alright? 1 plus 1 is 2. So it's 240. Alright? 45 times 2 is 90. Okay? So I put my 90 up here. Add them up. 0, 0, 0, 9, 5, 4, and 1 becomes 2. See, so the volume in liters for the full capacity of the petrol tanks for two cars and a bus would be 240 liters. All right, it's that simple. Okay, don't scare yourself. Just relax, calm down, and you'll be able to understand the question. All right, now let's look at question five. The Cartesian plane shows the location of Akmal and Zain. The location of Halim is not shown. Halim is at coordinate 2, 3. Mark Halim's coordinate on the Cartesian plane. Now remember, the first one is x. Axis, right? And the second one is the y-axis. If you cannot remember, rem remember this. In your alphabet alphabets, x comes before y. Right? So, this is X and this is Y. So, it's 2, 3. Right here. Halim is right here. Just mark it there. Okay? So, let's see. What's the horizontal distance and the vertical distance between Halim and Akmal through Zain? Okay. So, Halim is right here. So, horizontal to remember this, horizontal is flat. Vertical, you see the V, it cuts down, right? So it's standing, okay? So Halim is here. Horizontal distance would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 units, all right? So you write 6 right here. Vertical distance would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 units. So that's right here, okay? It's not that tough. And that way, we have already covered five questions. Wow! All right? So these are rather easy. And, you know, don't, don't scare yourself. Just um, try to relax during your exam, okay? Because when we panic, sometimes our brain just go blank. Okay? So, study well, and I hope to see you in the next episode.